listeners. Okay, viewers on MM Fight Night, welcome. I'm here with Ellie Coulson. Triple L, fantastic performance there, Ellie. You got the job done, it went the distance. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel really good. I thought it was a really tough fight, I already so far, but I thought I boxed good and I thought with Chris and McCorn, they could do anything. <laughs> no, and you know, with the interviews we've had before, that's been a constant theme, Chris in your corner. H how has this camp been different to the others, or was it much of a muchness? No, I think we've done a lot of strength, haven't we? And worked we've, on a we've, lot of we've worked on a lot of strength. We've worked on sitting down on a punches. Um, and what nobody knows is um, about three, two or three weeks out, two and a half weeks out, she broke her left hand, <laughs> and she did. And it was absolutely swollen like a balloon. I told her, "Do you want to pull out? You know, we can come back and fight her in a few in a few months." And she's like, "Adamant, no, I, I can box her head off." So we rested the hand, did loads of other things from the last couple of weeks, no sparring, only with, only with me and her, which it's like that, it's like chasing a shadow. Um, but she's a fantastic talent, Ella. I don't care what anybody says, she is a fantastic talent in the middleweight division. She, I know it's the IBC and people might not think it's as strong as WBA, WBC and all that, but it's ranked alongside the WIBA. And now she's a unified middleweight champion, no matter how you look at it, She's got WBU, she's got the IBC. I'm absolutely over the moon for her, but I'm absolutely so proud of her. Because honestly, you know, Andy, how long you've watched her from amateurs. How far she's come, how far she's grown, she dazzles in the air. That girl's face was an absolute mess from them one twos, spiteful puncher. Uh, made a few hand gestures in the ring that I weren't that happy about, but other than that, she's brilliant. She's a fantastic girl. I love her to bits of her, so that's it. And as you say, you know, multiple champion now, this the IBC belt to add to your massive collection. Um, just just kind of casting your mind back to that fight then, so the pace kind of fluctuated throughout, you know, those moments where it was up and down. What what was uh, you thinking as you kind of got towards the end of the fight? Did you think you had the, the rounds in the bag or was you thinking you might have to commit a little bit more? I thought I was up on the cards and that and I felt I felt fit and I felt I could move and stuff but she's a dangerous girl, she's a big puncher so I didn't want to risk it and go in just listen to what Chris said, stick to the game plan box and move, box and move and that's worked hasn't it? Perfect, <laughs> and it did work and I think what we saw there particularly as we got to the latter stages she was kind of holding the centre but not really doing much with that you know she was coming forward but you was dealing with those punches quite well and that's what I think Speaking to people at ringside, that was kind of what most people were picking up from it. So, yeah. again, dealt with the situation quite well, Ellie. You, you must, you must be absolutely thrilled with that. I'm just like over the moon, like really excited. Like never thought for looking years ago that I'd be able to be here today. Nobody, nobody believes in her. I swear they didn't. Honestly, and uh, I could, I could name a million people who didn't believe in her, and I'd kid you not. But there's something about her, and I've seen it from day one. She had a glint and an eye of the tiger, and she's got it. And when you see her punching in there, she shows that. That eye of the tiger comes out. And nobody sees it, but she's a mass talent. And I'm just so glad that she's proven everybody wrong. That's all I'm bothered about because she, she deserved to do that because people just so badly doubted her. And then she's proven everybody wrong, tick by tick, box by box, dealing with them as well as them in ring. Well done. And, you know, you don't need to look any further than your record these days. 11 fights, 10 wins. And I, I couldn't have lost count of how many belts <laughs> or, or you've got at the moment. British... International, Commonwealth, European and two worlds. <laughs> Final one for me then, what's what's the plans for this year? What what does 2023 have in store for Triple L? I definitely want to defend some belts and stuff. And I'd we love do. to have the rematch again, Esther. I would, I'd love to have Yeah, it. we're chasing that, but we never can seem to get it. We, no. we chase that in rematch with Esther, will be a... Uh, uh, but then, like I say, she'd been in with Marshall and been in with Anna Rankin. And where would you look at having that if that did come to fruition? We'd have it, we'd have it anywhere, but we'd like it here because it's a bit of a home ground for us. But like she said, she wants to defend the titles, a good, a good rest of the hand first, then defend the titles. But it's hard to match her because, you know, she's such a big, big middleweight. She's not small and people see how she boxes and who really wants to get in with that because it's so difficult to deal with. She's a good fighter, come forward fighter. You've only got to watch her, see what she's like. And it, I don't know. I just don't want to rush her because I, I remember her age. She's only coming up to 21. There's no panic. I don't need to press her too far. I'll just take her little bit by little bit. And that's all we're going to keep doing it. Chipping away, aren't we? I have full trust in you, so chipping I'll do whatever away. you say. I'll trust you in my life. <laughs> We've got years. Yeah, Why definitely. Worry? I agree with that. <laughs> Absolutely. From, from the team here at MM Fight Night, just want to say a massive congratulations, Ellie. Thank you so much. Chris, so well done. Fantastic work. Thank well you. done. Great interview there with the new IBC World Middleweight Champion, Triple L, Ellie Coulson. I'm Andy Barraclough on MM Fight Night.